This is the beginner guitar lesson for Pink Floyd's Time from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is in standard E tuning. Now, this song is super easy to play. All it is is two separate parts. The first part is going to be F sharp minor. You bar your finger across the second fret. Take your ring finger, put that on the fourth fret A string, pinky on the fourth fret D string. That's the first chord right there. Second chord is an A chord, A major. Everybody knows how to play an A major. Then we go to E major, back to F sharp minor. Now you can mess around with this chord progression however you want. What I like to do is I just kind of like to try, uh, try to make it match the original uh, <clears throat> recording. So I just kind of go. So there's really no strumming pattern to this. You could basically down strum through the entire thing if you wanted to. You could go. Or you can go down, up, down, up. Now that's the chord progression for the verse of the song. Now when it goes into, I guess you'd call it kind of a pre-chorus chorus, it goes like this. D. And it's very slow. I like to kind of pick the individual notes within the chord. So I'll go. Then we go to A. D. A. D. Then we go to a C sharp minor, which is up here on the fourth and sixth fret, pointer finger on the fourth fret A string. Uh, ring finger on the 6th fret D string, pinky on the 6th fret G string, and your middle finger is going to go on the 5th fret on the B string, and your pointer finger is barred. So it sounds like that. Then we go down to a B power chord. And then back to E. So that last part all together goes... And so it goes into the solo at that point. The solo is half the verse. It's you play through the verse, and then you play through the pre-chorus, just like I showed you. <clears throat> There's just a, an electric guitar soloing over the top of that. That's the entire song. Now at the end, when it goes into kind of that breathe, uh, home, home again. right there is basically just it's like a B power chord however you take your pinky off so all I'm pressing down on right now is uh, my pointer fingers on the second fret a string my ring fingers on the fourth fret D string and I kind of upstrum everything slowly and that's it right there and then I go from this chord to an A chord And one last part I'll show you is the part where it goes uh, far away across the field. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 How you play that is I basically just use uh, power chords. <clears throat> so I start off with a C at the uh, far away across the field. So it's a C power chord. Now I go to a B minor, it's kind of a bar chord. You can 
use a power chord either way. Then F. Then you use a G power chord. And then a D power chord. C power chord. Then finish on B. And that is time, my friends. Please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. If you haven't already, go download my secret guitar tips absolutely free, but right now only, and only if you go to mysecretguitartips.com. Don't wait, guys. Grab it right now. It's going to be gone soon. And also, if you like my casual, nonchalant, uh, non-traditional approach to learning how to play guitar, if you feel that you've taken a lot from my lessons, if you really enjoy watching my lessons, please go to teachmeguitar.guitarmadeeasy.com and I'll teach you how to play guitar. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep rocking, and I will see you on the next guitar lesson. Thanks.